Okay, folks, Larry Pesavetto for TFNN, and I've got more information or feedback from people about this trade that I put here on the uh, wheat yesterday. Uh, we were looking, of course, uh, this is the weekly chart of December wheat, and as you notice, we've been talking about the price going to 521 and a quarter. And we put an order in to buy it at 522 with a stop at 517. And you can see it's actually up on the week so far. And if you look at this today on a really short-term chart, you see it's had a tremendous move to the upside. Just, just been, you know, basically straight up. Folks, I don't know which ones are going to work and which ones don't. Nobody else does either. You know, the best you can be in this business, from my perspective, is if you can hit in 10 trades, if you hit 6 out of 10 profitable and maybe 2 break-even and 2 losses or 1 break-even and 3 losses, you're going to be okay as long as you don't make any really bad mistakes. So that's all it's about. I don't know that. I mean, all I could tell you is if you see how it was coming down here, see, this wasn't crashing down like it was here all day yesterday and everything. It was really quiet. This is only a 6 7 rent cents. And look at this. It takes out the previous day's low here by one penny, folks. Actually, less than a penny. And that's $50 on a contract that's worth uh, 25000 I mean, that, that's basically nothing. Now you can see we've had a move up here that makes a 1.618 expansion. And not only that, but the harmonic number on wheat is 18 cents. You add 520 to 18, where does it take you to? 538. So when you start getting above here, that's when it's going to get interesting. So that's all I'm doing, folks. I'm just looking at numbers on no matter what I'm looking at. And all this stuff, it's just numbers and stuff, even the astrology stuff. Uh, the, the calendar is nothing more than the astrological numbers that are out there. That's all numbers related. That's that's all I really do. So don't, you know, the, most of you have been around for quite a while, but a few people have asked me, you know, how did I know that that was? I don't know that answer. I'm just looking at numbers, and I put the orders in, and that's that's really all I can do. I can't, I can't do any more than that. I've tried to understand, you know, if there's a mystery of the market, I've, I've never been able to uh I've never actually been able to uh, find it out. So I think uh, if you remember that, you're going to be far better off than if you think there is. So let's take a break. Stan Harley's our guest today, folks. Harley Stock Market Letter. You don't want to miss it. He's always got great stuff. So let's stay together, and I think we'll be okay. Okay. 